roll more. All right, now stop moving. We saw their tracks all here yesterday. Huh? We saw tracks all right here yesterday. Yep. Where are the other two? Up top. Up top, they're sparring. Oh, those are what I was looking at. What are you? Oh, the other down, two are bottom, coming down bottom, 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 down right. Oh. <laughs> oh, there's three. It's kind of a dinker. Could make a hell of a slingshot. <laughs> Yeah, we need to just cover some ground right now. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I see an elk shed. Do you really? I think so. Caught in a tree. But if it, it looks brown, and I feel like it'd be white. If, but it looks like one. That one in its hut. It's cozy. We're really wishing we shot those two bucks yesterday. Uh, it was good that we did it then because it was just day one. Still had a whole mess of hunting to do, still do, but man, with the, with the orange army that's out, and I guess now we're, we're technically a part of it right now, uh, there's just no way something like that's gonna get passed on. We just drove by five bucks, uh, heading up the trail, and then turned around, they were all small little guys, I mean, 50 yards from the vehicle. Turned around after a little while, glass and some areas, and on the way out, we saw a guy who had pulled over and he, we just watched him shoot one of them. Uh, little forkies, if it makes him happy, good. But just goes to show that if you see something that gets you excited, especially close to the road, it's not gonna be around very long. We went back to the spot we were at yesterday morning where those, what we're calling our shooter bucks were at. Yesterday, and we were looking at them, glassing them over, kind of deciding, yeah, we probably should move forward on them. We've been talking with a, a local, Bob. He's like, oh, there's six by seven that went right over that hill. And he kind of screwed us up <laughs> <laughs> and planted that in our head. Uh, six by seven was right over there. And uh, that is what kind of held us up on shooting those deer yesterday. But we were at that same spot again. No 67s. Not even the little, the four points that we wanted. Stay on. Stay on. Uh, Mike came over this ridge and glassed some does, and then uh, we uh, picked up a couple bucks, and then I saw one that's a shooter, so we're gonna try to make a move real quick. Real quick. I'm gonna go check them out again. Just inside the ears, but tall. Sounds like a dead deer walking. Damn, and then this other one down here? 521. Okay, there's a big buck, and then there's a shooter buck. Okay, look. The two story. Okay. Check that one out right now. Check them out. So I see three. And the one that the one on the way back is a monster. The one on the left that's sparring is a decent buck. Okay. See the one in the back, dude? He's here. Yeah, but I can hardly see him. But that, that's fine. I don't need to see him. No, you're gonna see me just go and get back to the air. There's a whole bunch of bucks over there. Let them go on that deer. Yeah, let's move. We can really go out for us right now. Like 520, so let's move. Let's go back and over that way. Let's go back and over that way, then we'll move again.
deer still we made a we came to a spot that we tried to come to yesterday someone was already here glassing so we left him alone came today and within a few minutes mike picked up several deer then paul brought got out his glass picked up a shooter started making a move on him there about 550 yards away and some other folks came up and we think that's what spooked him down into the draw as we were closing in but we went all the way down there, no sign of them, picked the does back up again. So, just run it back. Run it back. Run it back. That's pretty cold. <clears throat> we ran into town, fueled back up, grabbed a couple cold ones. Um, now we're headed back out for the evening hunt, and we're headed out this way. We uh, passed the guys that we saw up on our last glassing point, where we went after that last four point, and uh, Turns out they actually shot that deer um, while we were, I guess, when we went after them, they went down left out of that gully and those guys had gone down that way and basically caught them on the escape route. So they shot that deer. So we were gonna go back there this afternoon, but now we are headed to some new country. See if we can't find some more bucks. The uh, size and range has opened up. So we got spikes on the menu and we got 500 yards hitting pretty good. We'll see how it goes. Back at camp, it's only 26 degrees right now. That's pretty nice. Might I, might I dare say it's gonna be a little hot tonight. <laughs> After negative six, negative seven, we're looking forward to the night. We're getting uh, the uh, fire set up. We're gonna go get some more wood, get food, and then we're gonna go clap some bucks in the morning. Take them back to Texas. Yeehaw. It's like morning, what, what morning are we on? Three? Morning three. Morning three, it's 11 degrees, 5.50. Slept pretty good. Pat and talking to bluegies out there. Looks like our camera may be fogging up a little bit. Um, what's the game plan, Paul? Um, game plan is to run the same plan we did the first day where we kind of just waited for gray light and just drove basically this whole road, just stopping at each canyon, glassing, looking for deer. Um, you know, we've seen a lot of deer on this side and in the last two days we've been going to the far side. So figured we'd just hunt the whole thing this morning, hopefully shoot a couple bucks and then get the hell out of here. You heard the man, get the hell out of here. Uh, spotted two bucks, third day shooters. Gonna make a move up this hill and they're up in a flat. So we are at about 580 over there. We'll probably be about 300 yards. Should be a pretty good shot. Let's see, hopefully we can make it happen.
hot shot. Well, yeah, we're gonna go back to the truck because I think that road wraps around up in there a little further. There might be a better access point. Look on on, X and C. I don't know if I have this deep safe. Finding the other two. Okay, now where are the other books? Like he's outside the ears. Let's go, boys. Nice, so I'm up. <laughs> yeah, he's out. He's outside the ears. So I'm up. He, he's the, the farthest slope. You're going to be blocked by him and maybe blocked by the telephone pole. But the farthest slope <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can see that doesn't drop yep. over. Yep. He's on that coming down. He's halfway. Don't go too far out of the yeah, open, boys. Open it wide open. Let's get some guns out, huh? Truck coming. I feel like I make an eyeball. Another buck, I guess, then. Just can't close this. There's a shadow that goes horizontal out from the telephone pole. He's on the horizontal shadow. It's hard to see him right now. It's really hard to see him. Let me get it on. I, I can dial it in if you want. Why don't we just shoot it? Good question, too. Spend all this time scoping. We don't even need like, to. If we just got to this, all we need to do is get to that log right there. And that would be real easy. Which Which this, one? This, this knoll right here. Oh, right here. Okay. You shoot over, yeah, down there. Oh, that next log. Yeah, down there. Halfway okay. up this telephone yeah. pole, that knoll with the yellow grass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we shoot him right across. Get on. There's a forky. Two by two. two. Yeah, right in there. Right. What's this lower buck? Do you know? The right or the left deer? The right deer is a straight spike. And what's the left one? There might be a fork as well. The left one is a spike as well. I see three deer over there there's now. A, there's more than three. Oh, there's yeah, there's four. Yeah, four. Okay, well, I think we can probably drop down to that. Yesterday and made a move on that buck and that buck ended up getting killed but there's another uh, fork horn over here. It's day three. Getting down to the crunch so we're gonna make a move on him. Probably about 200 yards out from where we need to get set up to shoot. We'll check back in when we get there. It's day four. It's day four. Monday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. 